Alright guys, Thought Experiments episode 4. Sitting in some traffic. This is another special episode with Pete Fox, the owner and CEO of Fox Racing, the world's largest apparel distributor for motocross sports. It's a multi-million dollar company, so the info that he's sharing in this episode is really priceless. He talks about how to come up with your brand, putting together the mission statement, the logos, the designs, how to do all those things properly and sequentially. And also he gets into leveraging today's basically free advertising that we have from social media, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If it was 20 or 30 years ago, the only way to get a word out to, let's say, 10 or 20,000 people was to spend 10 or 20,000 dollars, and that was through TV ads, which isn't that effective. <laughs> So a little bit of backstory and what I'm actually doing with Thought Experiments before I get into this episode is that what I've realized is the way that we exchange and access information is completely different than it was 10 years ago. And it's completely, completely different since the structuring of the schooling system was created. So those things haven't really changed with technology. It's so different with information today. Rather than sitting in a classroom for an hour and getting maybe five to 10 minutes of good, solid information, you can use the internet to Google anything that you possibly want and get exactly what you're looking for in seconds. So what I'm doing with Thought Experiments is creating an area where it's easily accessible to gain information on becoming calmer and truer to yourself. And this is gonna be in meditation and we're gonna get into that with later episodes. Becoming more confident and that comes with being calm. When you're confident and you have emotional intelligence through meditation and finding out more about yourself, um, you're more confident in your ways and what you're doing and that leads to creativity. Being in a creative state is linked to being in calm, slower brainwave states such as alpha, theta, and delta states and this is something that I'll, I'm touching on now but I'm going to go into great detail later in these episodes and the calmness, confidence, and creativity is something that I want to share with you guys and it's all linked together and it's all about going inwards and finding that inner trueness in yourself. Basically we've been sold an idea that you need to buy this car, drink this alcohol, wear these clothes, and then you'll be happy. And that's really, really just a complete lie. And what what America has done is it's well what America mainstream media has done is not we're not humans anymore, we're consumers. So we're always getting sold to constantly through television, on the internet, even Instagram ads now. We're always getting sold to and what they're selling is that happiness is an external thing. It's something that you have to get from somewhere else. But really, once you buy a car or wear a certain piece of clothing, there might be some temporary satisfaction, but all that's doing is that if you're trying to fill a hole in your garden, in your front yard, and you're filling the dirt with um, dirt from another hole, okay, you fill this hole, but now there's another hole, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna take this dirt and fill that hole, and there's another hole, another hole, another hole, so it's just an endless cycle of trying to fulfill what's inside through external resources, and it's a lot to take in. So without further ado, I'm going to let Pete Fox take it over, sharing a lot of awesome knowledge on how to build a brand, turn your passion to a career, hold on, I got to pull over for this one, and become a creator. I never did anything with the idea of like, this is going to make a certain amount of money, or we're going to sell a certain amount of units. It was never like that planned out. My goal is I want to make the coolest shit I can make. Just keep it really simple. Don't like try to do it too many different ways because especially when you're starting out, you know, you switch it up too much and people like, uh, you know, pretty soon you look at a hundred different versions of the logo you did. People aren't as close to it as you are. And so they're not going to like be able to remember it as well, but you know, come up with like, hey, this is the way we're going to do our logo and let's like stay with that for a while until like it's really starting to stick get your basic fundamental thing. Here's our mission statement for the brand. Here's our logo. And then I would make a hat, a t-shirt, and a, and a beanie. You can make those really cheap. Everybody loves them. Everyone wants to sell them. Everyone wants to buy them. And I would start with that, right? If you're, depends what you're gonna be. If you're gonna be a brand, 
then you've got to be able to sell a hat or a t-shirt. If you can't sell those, then you don't have a brand yet. But if you're going to be known for something, if you're going to be known for a jacket or a belt, if you're going to be like, you know, a Nixon or something like that, then you have to like focus on a certain product. When somebody looks at a Fox logo, you know, hopefully we've done a good job and we've created like this vision in their head, the customer's head of like what that means. So that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to create something like, I think Nike's super successful. Like, you know, I put on a Nike shirt and I kind of want to be more active and athletic. Like, fuck, I'm going to push myself. <laughs> Everything modern, like new media, I wouldn't be thinking of TV, I'd be thinking YouTube, I'd be thinking Instagram, Facebook, like I'd be thinking all of that stuff. The beauty of that compared to, you know, maybe when I was getting started is that you can go directly to the people now, right? You've got a venue and it's free. Facebook and Instagram and Twitter is basically free, right? 20 years ago, you would have to have paid money to get in front of those eyeballs, in front of those people. Think about it, you gotta run ads, try to run a TV, like how could you reach, how could you reach 100,000 people 20 years ago? You'd have to spend a ton of money.